Concentrate Thornley. Ah, the sound of my childhood. So parts per million, what's it used for? Well, it's used for low concentrations. For example, heavy metal pollution in water or some low concentrated chemicals in blood. And a milligram per kilogram, well, that is another way of saying parts per million. Now, looking at the textbooks, you can also have it as a milligram per decimeter cubed, which is also a part per million. Well, how does that work? Well, if you're talking about water, if the solution is water-based, then a kilogram is a decimeter cubed. So you're all right then, aren't you? Looking at the equation, parts per million is mass of component over mass of solution times a million. Or you could have volume there, don't forget. Decimeters cubed. So two grams of a chemical is dissolved in 10 kilograms of water. What is the resulting concentration in parts per million? So let me scribble out that equation. So the mass of the substance is two grams, 10 kilograms, and it's all gone dreadfully wrong. You gotta keep an eye on those units, eh? Grams and kilograms, that's not gonna work. Let's convert the 10 kilograms to grams by multiplying by 10 to the three. And that gives me 200 parts per million. Well, not really, because we've got two sig figs in the question. So you're gonna need two sig figs in the answer. So let's have a bit of silliness before I send myself to sleep. The manufacturer of Bitrex, the bitterest chemical in the world, claims that one teaspoonful of their product in a swimming pool leaves behind a noticeably bitter taste. So using a bit of chemistry, we'll see if we agree with that. Bitrex can be detected at 0.01 parts per million. Oh, I can't believe I spelled Olympic wrong. Okay, so 0.01 parts per million is noticeably detectable according to uh, their website. And the Olympic sized swimming pool, two and a half thousand meters cubed on average. Now we love our decimeters cubed, so let's convert it, making it two and a half million decimeters cubed. Converting parts per million, we can take that into a milligrams per kilogram, which is the same as milligrams per decimeter cubed, because we're talking about water. So I want to know how many milligrams of bitrex are needed to get 0 0.01 parts per million in this pool. So I'm going to multiply that parts per million number by the volume of the pool. And that gives me 25,000 milligrams, which I cheekily converted into 25 grams. Now does 25 grams fit in a teaspoon? Well, the volume of a teaspoon is five milliliters and that means it holds five grams of water because one milliliter of water is one gram. So 25 grams of bitrex, hmm. So that would mean the density of bitrex is five times that of water. So it's about the density of iron. That seems a little improbable to have an organic chemical to be as dense as iron. But then I had a thought, bitrex is a powder. So I think they mean they piled up the powder in the teaspoon, perhaps allowing double the volume. And if you pile it up in the teaspoon, then it gives you a density of about aluminium. Okay, I can accept that. That's quite a low density metal. Water in Flint, Michigan has lead levels equivalent to 0 0.0064 grams of lead to nitrate per decimeter cubed. So what's the concentration of lead ions in parts per million? You can't just say, I'm gonna convert the grams per decimeter cubed to milligrams per decimeter cubed. by moving the decimal place along. No, 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 it's not 6.4 parts per million. You can't just say that. 
Why is that? Well, it's 0 0.0064 grams of lead nitrate. You, some of that mass is the nitrate. We're not interested in that. I just want to know about the lead. So how do we go about it? So I need to work out the fraction for the mass of lead in lead nitrate. So I've got the molar mass of lead divided by the molar mass of lead nitrate. Oh, and that fraction should then be multiplied by the mass. That's a nice number. So if I've got 0 0.0040 grams of lead in one decimeter cubed, that's my concentration. And converting to milligrams by moving the decimal place along by three gives me four parts per million. Now don't worry that it's lead and lead two plus Lead and lead 2 plus weigh the same. What's the difference? Two electrons? They're negligible. And FYI, what was the first use of Bitrex? It's to stop tail-biting pigs biting tails.